my class. Today's lesson is about time. My name is Nicole and if you're new in this class, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more lessons. Let's first understand what time is. Time is the ongoing sequence of events taking place. You can tell time using clocks. Here, I have an analog clock and we have two types of clocks an analog clock and a digital clock. Today we'll be learning about an analog clock. Now let's tell time. Now what time is it? It is 3 o'clock. Now what time is it? It is 10 o'clock. Now what time is it? It is 12 o'clock. Now, we've been talking a lot about the short hand. What about the long hand? It's important too. The long hand tells us about the minutes and the short hand tells us about the hours. But remember, we have a third hand on an analog clock. Now, we have minutes outside these numbers. We start by zero, zero. Then we go to zero, 05, then 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 45, then then 50, then 55. Now here, we don't write 60. We only write 00, zero representing o'clock. Now, let's continue telling time. Now, what, now what time is it? Do you know the time? Now let's tell time with three easy steps. The first step is look to look at where the short hand is pointing. The short hand is pointing at six. First we start with the short hand. Now we write the two dots. Then we look at where the long hand is pointing, which is at the two zero zeros. Now we write zero, zero. Now do you know what time it is? It is six o'clock. Now let's tell, now let's tell time again. Now what time is it? We start by looking at where the short hand is pointing. Do you know the steps again? Now let's tell time using the steps again. The short hand is pointing at 3. So we write 3. Then the two dots. Then look at where the long hand is pointing. Which is at 12 representing the two zero zeros. Now, what time is it? It is three o'clock. Now, let's tell time again. Now, what time is it? We start by, we start by looking at where the four, the short hand is pointing, which is at 4. 
Now, now, where is the long hand pointing? Do you know where it's pointing at? It is pointing at 12, representing 2 zero, representing the 2 zero, zeros. Now, we'll change the long hand and put it at 3, and the short hand should be at 12. Now, what time is it? First, you look at where the short hand is pointing, which is at 12. So you write 12. Then we write the two dots. Then we. Then we look at where the long hand is pointing. The long hand is at 3, representing 15. Now, what time is it? It's 15 minutes past 12. Now, let's try another one. Now, what time is it? Once again, we start, we start by looking at where the shorthand is pointing, which is at 12. The long hand is pointing at 8 representing 40. Forty. Now, what time is it? It is 40 minutes past 12. Now, the last one. Now, Look at where the short hand is pointing, which is at 5. Now, we write the two dots. Then, then we look at where the long hand is pointing, which is at 11. And 11 represents 55. Now it is 55 minutes past 5. And that's the end of our lesson today. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Bye.